Okay. That's sure. Perfect. That works. Hello, everyone. Apologies that I'm not here uh, with you. I've had some problems with uh, my visa, but uh, we activate a plan B and we will presentation. I think uh, it will work uh, very well. Hopefully, I could be here in this event next year, uh, kind of interacting face to face. So uh, before uh, we start talking about the, the gateway case, I would just uh, like to do a quick introduction from me. We can move to slide two. Are we on the slide three? Yeah. Perfect. So this is me. Um, a quick introduction. Uh, I'm an architect as a, as a background. I'm, I'm a designer. Uh, I'm originally from Barcelona, that's really not uh, of my accent. And uh, after working in architecture for a few years, uh, I did most of my professional career uh, in sports, uh, in sports marketing. Uh, worked 11 years in Nike, uh, different countries, studying in Spain and Portugal, later on uh, in Brazil and uh, in Mexico. And then since uh, 2001, I'm working in Gatorade. Uh, my first uh, three years in Gatorade, I was uh, managing brand design. So in charge of uh, basically design packaging, uh, visual energy for the brand uh, in the US and globally. And uh, over the last two years, on top of the brand design responsibilities, I'm leading the long-term innovation team uh, for Gatorade. Long-term innovation uh, for Gatorade means uh, everything on innovation that is not flavor-related. So when we are not doing new flavors on, uh, on sports drinks, for instance, when we are not doing uh, uh, that, that's the stuff that we do. And uh, you will see in the presentation today that that goes uh, beyond products. It also includes uh, service and technology platforms. So uh, now moving to slide three, a little bit of uh, the story of Gateway, but I have a quick video to introduce that. But uh, before we go to the video, it's, uh, you will see uh, for some of one, uh, some, of, some of you will, will not know this story. The name Gateway comes from uh, Gators, the University of Florida, the football team. Uh, was uh, was in trouble uh, 50 years ago. They were uh, players were dehydrated uh, on the field, and then uh, Dr. K uh, came up with a solution for them. And uh, this video summarizes the story uh, very well. We play the field. For the past 50 years, Gatorade has been in the business of maximizing athletic potential. At the start, it was on a small scale, helping college football players withstand the Florida heat. But word spread, and Gatorade grew quickly, creating a new category and a unique 50-year legacy. During the next 50, sports and sports nutrition will evolve at an incredible pace. Technology will have a profound effect on training and competition. Digitally accessible solutions will provide tomorrow's athletes with a new competitive edge. Gatorade will lead this transformation, using its unique access, experience, and expertise to improve every aspect of sports field. We will reinvent the category by launching a robust innovation pipeline, new products, better solutions for the 24-7 athlete. Great. So we can move to the next one. Hope you'll fire up with, with the video. But uh, uh, you see the, the story. So basically, it is a start with a very basic premise. It uh, was to solve an actual problem. Uh, we are dealing in on the field. Dr. Dr. K created a uh, uh, sports drink uh, for them. And that, that was the beginning of the business. And since then, uh, Gatorade has created the category and it's, uh, it's the number one sports drink in, in the world. 
So we're, we're approaching innovation, and the challenge was, okay, after 50 years, it's uh, where we go next, what, what's the future of the sports feeling, what, what we should do. And then we start with a clear athlete inside. Can we move to the next slide, please? Excellent. So the inside was the uniqueness of every athlete. And here we, we combine two things. One, a huge consumer trend that all of you guys know is about personalization. We want kind of our uh, unique things. And that also applies to, uh, to sports and what, uh, what athletes are doing. And, and using every day. But this, then the second insight was about the physiology of uh, every athlete. So what uh, uh, an athlete that sweats and what uh, uh, an athlete uh, performs on the field is very linked uh, to, uh, to his physiology. So it's very easy to understand that one size will not fit all and what uh, one uh, uh, you know, soccer player will need probably will be different than a, you know, a, a big uh, basketball player will need. So we start with this idea of, of personalization. Next slide, please. And, and the insight here was uh, very basic. So it's kind of athletes are already personalizing many of the things that they are using today. The recruitment is personalized.
two-time World Cup champion and the global leader in sports fuel working together on a common goal. Improved athletic performance through scientific knowledge and personalized product. The project began a year ago when the Brazilian team opened the door granting Gatorade scientists unprecedented access. Players were tested before, during, and after physical activity. Hydration, fluid balance, and electrolytes were closely monitored. The testing and analysis confirmed that even amongst players on the same team and in the same sport, they each have their own specific hydration and recovery needs. Previously, these elite athletes have been using identical products. Now they have their own personalized fueling solutions specific to each occasion. Train day, game day, recovery day. Gatorade Store provide these elite players with a collection of innovative tools, customized hydration and nutrition solutions, and the scientific knowledge behind them. The partnership continues, and the opportunity awaits.
on, on the next slide, another example is that uh, sometimes uh, accidents happen. And the, and the idea here, uh, we set up uh, the models to be turned up with a very complicated combina uh, setup uh, sequence on, on an iPad. But you could see in the video, if you play the game of time, that just kicking the coolant that, uh, that uh, hold these bottles was, was, uh, was okay to set up the bottles. So that was something that we didn't plan, but uh, it happened by accident, and then we figured out that that was, uh, was a very good idea, that maybe to set up this start sequencing with, uh, with an actor was, was not the right, uh, the right thing to do. But unless you are on the field, it's super hard to predict this type of things. And then, no, you can move to the next one, no worries. Yeah. Sorry. Here we see. Yeah, that. that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, correct. So here you have the, the sequence of, uh, of the ball. Then, uh, on the next slide, uh, also to, uh, to follow when uh, being on the field uh, helps, uh, helps to uh, define the right the right offering for the right audience. So probably what the high school uh, will need and what the pro athlete will need from a nutritional point of view will be very similar, but then the ecosystem where these guys are playing, the type of support that they have is completely different. So that's something that uh, needs to be considered as part of this uh, pilot process. We pass to the next one. Uh, so, and then the last thing about piloting is that you build brand equity. So if you explain uh, that you are piloting things and that you are working with some of the best things in the world, uh, you know, so social uh, campaigns, digital campaigns, or even a TV spot, that's something that uh, consumers like. And uh, think, for instance, on uh, uh, the idea of concept cars. So uh, car industry is telling all the time that they are kind of experimenting on new things and trying new things. And people love that, so why not the CPG brands to take a similar approach? And that's, that's something that at that time in, uh, in, in Gatorade and PepsiCo was a little bit of a proactive thought, but uh, over time people have seen value doing that. We move to the next one. So after all these pilots, after basically two years uh, off the road uh, with working with different teams, then we come up with the final version of the platform, or the current version of the platform, I should say, that I have a, uh, another video that summarizes that very well. So if we could play the, the next video. For 50 years, Gatorade has been focused on improving athletic performance. We've studied how an athlete's body reacts to the stress of training and competition. We've been obsessed with the relationship between what the athlete eats, what they drink, and how they perform and recover. And now, after 50 years, it's really getting exciting. While science and research evolve, one constant remains unchanged. When athletes work out, they need to replace what they lose. Every athlete needs to take in fluids and electrolytes that are lost during physical activity. Every athlete is unique, so your physiology will dictate how much you sweat, how salty your sweat is. So based on that, you will need a unique hydration, different than your teammate. So even at doing exactly the same exercise, even kind of being the same height, the same weight, every athlete will need a different feeling of hydration. In the six months into the project, we are already on the field with the Brazilian national team testing new products and services. From there, we were able to work with 10 additional teams refining the platform in many different use cases across elite levels of play. This rapid prototyping approach allowed us to quickly find the best balance between technology, sports science, and user experience. Taking everything we've learned on the field and in the lab and combining that with current technology, Gatorade has created a unique solution, Gatorade GX, the hydration tracking system. It's a one-of-a-kind digital ecosystem that produces customized recommendations and solutions, showing you when to hydrate while pacing your intake. Analyzing your fluid balance, Gatorade GX unlocks your personal fuel strategy, recommending fuel formulas based on your electrolyte and carbohydrate needs in real time on the field of play. 
throughout a practice or a training session or even a game, I'm very cognizant of my hydration. And so if there's a tracking solution that's truly effective and can help change our game, it's only going to enhance our benefits on the field and how good we can be as athletes. Some of the world's top teams are using the system. The Boston Celtics, Kansas City Chiefs, University of Florida Gators, and the Brazilian National Team. We have the capability to take the sweat profile, feed that into the system. The athlete then gets gauge rating points based on their sweat and their fuel profile. And then one of the key unlocks for this system is that it allows us to measure the athlete's drinking behavior on the field of play in real time. This piloting approach also allows us to seamlessly transition towards commercialization. Multiple proven innovation ingredients where you're able to build different product offerings, each one optimized for different athlete needs. These integrated GX offerings allow Gatorade to move towards new product and service business models to drive the growth. Sports have never been so competitive. Every athlete is searching for an edge. Gatorade GX, built to fuel, customized. Great. So I, I will dig dive a little bit on, on the platform and the different components. So first, um, as you have seen, we started in 2014. We we'll continue during 2015, refining the platform and, and, and the, the different versions of, uh, of uh, the different components uh, of, of the platform. And then now in 2016, we are ready to launch uh, the platform. And we divide the platform in two tiers, what we call the GX Pro system, that we will explain in a second. And later on, I will spend some time talking about the, the GX, uh, uh, let's say, the consumer platform. So going to the next one. Um, how it works. So first, uh, what we, we do, uh, as you have seen in the video, is to test the athlete and set up uh, uh, the athlete profile. And I will not uh, dig on the uh, I will not dig on the on the science piece. But basically, what we do is set up uh, is a sweat test of the athlete to figure out.
you know, in a team, the same soccer team, 25 players, there will be players that are, you know, drinking uh, half a bottle uh, during uh, practice with one specific formula. There will be players that need to uh, need to drink two bottles or one bottle and a half. So the recommendations will vary a lot in terms of volume, but also in terms of uh, in, in terms of formulas. So for the formulas, if we move to the next one, this is one of the most interesting uh, innovation components of the platform. So we uh, create these uh, concentrate pods that are basically 3.25 uh, ounces pods that have Gatorade concentrated in it. Uh, we are working with a concentration around kind of uh, 8 to 1. And uh, thanks to this technology, what we have is basically portable Gatorade uh, that uh, we could mix uh, with water to create the drink uh, for, for each athlete. Next slide. So then, uh, we will say, but, but uh, how many combinations uh, do you need? So that's that's also the beauty of the system. We don't need kind of multiple combinations. What we need is basically a system of pods that combining different levels of electrolytes, different levels of carbs. We have these nine combinations that then with multiple flavors will allow us to create the, the specific uh, drink that the algae will need. So the next one. And then uh, to uh, create this drink, basically we redesigned the, the squeeze bottle that Gatorade has been using for many years on the sidelines, adding this uh, clip, uh, clip cap that basically allows us uh, to pierce the pot uh, in, into the bottle. So basically we added the bottle uh, around uh, 27 ounces uh, of, of water till uh, this filling line, you pierce the pot, the pot mixes uh, with the water. It's uh, liquid with liquid, so the dissolution is very easy. You close the cap, and you are ready to go. And then we also developed another version of the bottle, uh, the, the version that we call uh, the smart cap uh, version. That basically, what this does is that the bottle uh, or the cap has a turbine inside, and then has this turbine uh, clips. Uh, or, sorry, terms. Basically, we have kind of a magnet system with uh, uh, electronics on the bottle that measuring the terms of this turbine, we are able to read in real time how much fluid is uh, going through this turbine. Because we know which formula the athlete is using and we know how much volume the athlete is taking, then we could read in real time uh, how, how, how much. Uh, liquid, uh, yeah, yeah, the outlet is drinking. And then, if we move to the next one, then we convert uh, this, uh, this liquid recommendation, we know how much the outlet needs to drink, we know how much the outlet is drinking, then we are able to have back. <laughs> Some technical problems. We are talking about technology, we have technical problems. <laughs> So I, I was talking about the smart app. So basically, uh, uh, let's just from the cap, we are put the cap up uh, to meet uh, uh, to they are ahead of the target in some competition. And we have a quick bit slide. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, okay. Do you want to do the video? Excellent. So you could see here that we have the Novotorsky at IMG Academy, and you could see how the players at a grab their balls. This player has two balls, and how they use this uh, either smart pack that they have to. And in this light system, they are able to win if uh, they are drinking enough or they are uh, they are behind. And here also it's very important the athlete inside. These guys have just a few seconds to erase. We don't want to overcomplicate things. So after the fact, we could analyze all this data, but what they need, what uh, they are in the field is a very basic uh, interaction. So next slide. Um, so this is an example uh, of, through the smart app, we could take kind of basically a very basic communication to the athlete, bring less, bring more, you are ahead or you are behind target. But interestingly, this second information could go uh, to the coach and the coach to his tablet 
to grade uh, for every athlete, uh, how much they are grading. Here you have kind of the, the example on the graph. And also, with information with the sweat part, how much uh, they are sweating. And they could kind of get the system that it could uh, co course correct if the athlete is doing something wrong. So next slide. Then we could uh, also see uh, specifically for the team, uh, you know, uh, over over time and for uh, every specific training session or game, uh, how they have been performing and kind of uh, if they have been over the level or the level on the field. And then on the next slide, we also could see the example of uh, by one specific player how he has, uh, he has been performing as well. Can you move uh, one slide more, please? Okay, excellent. So here, again, some, some examples of, uh, of the specific report for one athlete. And the platform allows to share this report back to the athlete, uh, you know, via text, uh, via message, and kind of educate him on what, what he's doing wrong, and uh, keep uh, just in case behavior. Next slide. So another interesting component for the platform, we have a uh, uh, already with many of these professional teams, uh, the few of us that are basically kind of a space in the water room where we host all different products and we leverage this space to uh, educate the athletes and provide all the solutions that they need. So specifically for the, uh, for the locker rooms, uh, if you click one more slide, we're developing a, a fountain device. Uh, one more slide, please. Exactly. That is, uh, it's called uh, the Spire technology. That that's basically kind of a fountain beam that uh, recognizes uh, the the athlete through the bottle, through the, through the bottle. So the bottle has this smart cup. Then this smart cup sends information to the fountain, and the fountain could mix in real time uh, the drink specifically for the athlete. So in this case, we will not even uh, need the pots. And this is again, this is in development. So. Uh, this is a summary slide that uh, you know you can see all the components of the platform: the vessel, the pop matrix, the smart cap. We have also the GX station, the digital sweat patch, the digital tools, and obviously the recommendation engine, uh, the, the all the algorithms that put everything together, and and the digital uh, infrastructure that uh, holds uh, all the system together. So it's, it's a very robust and complex platform that combines the product piece, the technology piece, and then the digital piece uh, to interact with athletes. Uh, next slide. So the benefits for uh, the GX Pro uh, uh, platform is that obviously we are delivering these individualized sports field recommendations to the athletes. We have the real time tracking uh, of uh, of uh, drinking and sweat, so it's kind of uh, with that we could uh, really affect performance. And then the idea that collecting all this information over time, uh, we could kind of improve uh, how the athlete is, is uh, behaving uh, and, and how we could uh, train them to hydrate better. Next slide. But then, interestingly, as part of the, of the learnings for the platform, we have been talking about uh, all this system and, and we said, oh, this is very complex. This is probably only with, uh, for the elite athletes. And that's probably true. So that any something like that would not be the solution needed for uh, all, all athletes. So then we come up with a, a, a simplified version of the platform that also could be relevant for a, for a, for a broader population. And that's what we call uh, the, also the GX uh, version, and a more simple one. And I will just fly through the slides here. So next one, here uh, we have uh, obviously the click up vessel, this is the same one. Uh, next slide, please. And then on the click up vessel, we play with the idea of personalization. So for, for the everyday athletes that maybe they will not need all the complexity of the different formulas in Zika, we said, okay, let's offer the vessel in different colors. Let's allow the athletes to customize their vessel with uh, this ID link and create their unique vessel. Move to the next one. And with that, we come up with kind of these kind of multiple combinations and, uh, of uh, color vessels and ID rings. You could put your team colors, your team name, your team number, the logo of your team and kind of play with personalization, but more from a self-expression uh, point of view. Next slide. So then the other component are the pots. So in this case, it's kind of one 
one uniform of gateway would work very well for the everyday athlete. And what we offer here is uh, basically the idea that you could get kind of gateway in multiple uh, flavors. And here the personalization aspect, and we have uh, been on the field asking athletes, they said, do you need all these different formulas in Zika setup? You know what, maybe this is too complicated for me, but what I want to do is uh, pick my flavor of uh, gateway. So that, that's what personalization could mean for another audience. Next slide. And then what's interesting is that uh, using uh, a reusable vessel and using the pods, that allows uh, us also to establish a new business model that is uh, to establish e-commerce. If, uh, if you think with, with the boom of e-commerce, Spots 
the e-commerce uh, September, uh, uh, this, this upcoming September. And then for the professional version of the platform, once we have the opportunity to uh, develop the, the digital sweat patch, we could see the future that adults using this uh, digital sweat patch self-diagnose themselves and also using the personalized formula. So something that is coming on in the world of sports is uh, this idea of uh, technology, smart apparel, all this stuff. We could see that in the future, you know, athletes would like to monitor everything that they are doing while they are practicing the sports. They would like to know how much they are sweating. They would like to know how much they need to drink. So, oh. I will go back. Uh, so I think, yes, both platforms could be commercial sometimes. Yeah, uh, my question is, I think it's a very good idea and uh, uh, the packaging, uh, I just want to know when do you have plan to launch it in China? Because in China, uh, more and more people uh, like uh, doing sports, uh, so uh, for just uh, common people, uh, do you think uh, if one day you can uh, benefit the uh, consumers in China? Yes. A uh, very good question. The answer is uh, absolutely yes. China is one of the big, uh, big markets uh, for the future for Italy. So we are right now considering the expansion of, the, of this platform in China as well. So we're seeing potentially 2018 or beyond to have uh, this platform in China. Hello. Uh, firstly, uh, thank you for presentation. I actually did a presentation of collaboration across functions and departments. Can you tell us how many gateway functions and departments work on this project? And can, <laughs> us, and can you give us an idea of the timeline? Yeah, that's that's a very good question. I was doing your presentation. I said, okay, this is us, no question. So you're right, they start in a company like uh, Nabrana Gateway as part of PepsiCo, develop a platform like that, cross collaboration is key. So I don't know how many people is, all, uh, is working on the project right now. Probably if you want all the different functions and uh, all the different teams, you are talking about 100 persons easily. And this covers, you have seen, you have uh, product development, you have packaging development, you have digital services, you have technology. We work also with a lot of external partners. That's something very unique that uh, many of our innovations, we develop them in-house. But because here we have a lot of components that we are not uh, core to flexible expertise, we have been working with a lot of external partners. And that also adds a lot of, uh, of complexity. So uh, and in terms of the development timelines, uh, we start working on, on early version of this platform in 2013 that basically took more or less one year of development to get the, the first version for the Brazil national team and since then we have basically invested these two last years to come up with the commercial version of this platform. Two years seems a long time but just for reference uh, for Gatorade to launch a new flavor on a standard bottle and with exactly the same formula it takes one year of work. So to do all this in two years, I can tell you in the physical velocities, it's, it's kind of incredible. Okay, Thank you. Thank you.